Hi, I'm April Simpkins, and this is the HR Minute. October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. One in four women and one in eight men over the age of 18 here in the United States has been the victim of severe physical violence by an intimate partner. And those domestic violence victims, they work somewhere. So during today's HR Minute, we're gonna talk about three things employers can do to support those victims. First, the Workplace Violence Prevention Act. Second, create a safe environment. And third, policies and procedures. The first thing an employer can do is familiarize themselves with the Workplace Violence Prevention Act. That's a law here in North Carolina. That act does a few things, but key to this point is it allows the victim of domestic violence to take some time away from work to settle personal matters. That might include court appearances, taking out restraining orders, or relocating their family and themselves to a safe place. Secondly, it allows you as an employer to take out a restraining order to prevent someone who poses a threat from getting into your workplace. And that's key because you as an employer, you need to provide a safe working place for all of your employees. The second thing an employer can do is to create a safe environment where employees are comfortable talking to either HR or their supervisor about things they've done outside of the workplace, which could include taking out a restraining order. Also, it would be a good time to discuss how they can develop a personal safety plan inside of the workplace in case they feel that they are in harm's way. The third thing employers can do is have policy and procedure in place for all employees in case violence breaks out in the workplace. That would include where they can seek safety, accounting for all the employees who came to work that day, and contacting an emergency response team. For more information on this topic, visit our website at hrssusa.com.